Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm a member of the Floodlight team, and I'm going to show you how you can build a photo voice story using the Floodlight Story Builder in just a few minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top menu and click on Build a Story, and then we're going to choose this big orange button that says Create Your Story. Now, I don't happen to be signed in to Floodlight yet, so it's going to give me a login page. Um, and I already have an account, so I can just enter my username and password. But if you don't have an account, you can actually create one from this page as well, using uh, your Twitter or Facebook account or an email address. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose which template we want to start with for our story. We have four different templates that we can see. We have the photo voice template, the sandbox template, the explainer template and the data story. And we're going to go with photo voice because it's the simplest and easiest. It's, it's just a picture and a caption. The first thing that we see is our story information. And this is just basic things like the title of our story, uh, the byline, which is who's writing it, and the summary. Um, so my title, I'm going to just start typing in this box. Um, so a view from my office. Um, and then I'm going to start typing my byline in the second line. Um, my name is Jordan Werfsbrock, and I work at the Piton Foundation. And then our summary is the final thing we have on this page. And this is just the first thing that people see when they, um, when they view your story. So this just gives them an idea of what they'll be seeing. So I took this picture at work this morning. Um, it's a great view of Metro Denver. All right, so now we're ready to really get into the meat of the story, which is the photo and the caption. So I clicked on image and text up here in our um, table of contents at the top. And now we see this page that has um, a place for us to add our image on the left and our text on the right. So I'm going to click here where it says click to add your image. And there's two ways we can do that. We can enter a URL if our picture happens to be hosted on a photo sharing website like Flickr or Picasa, or we can upload it directly from our computer's hard drive, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just click the picture there, click the file, um, and then hit Save Changes. And my there it is. There's my picture. Awesome. Um, so now I can then click over here on the right to start adding my text. Um, so this is the view from the Piton offices. Um, you can see the Rocky Mountains in the background. It's sunny today, but sometimes we can see smog, clouds, and other things um, from the 53rd floor. Um, so there's my caption. Um, so I click save, and now I'm ready to go. Um, one other thing you may notice is that this page has a title on it. It says image and text, and that's the name of our section. I actually don't want a name on my section, so I'm just going to delete that, um, and you can see that it also disappears up here. So now there's no title to my section. Um, the final piece of our story is the call to action, and this is what you'd like your readers to do after reading your story, what action you'd like them to take. Um, so this is a pretty simple story, so I'm just going to say find out more about the Piton Foundation by visiting our website. And I'm going to show you that you can also add a link into your story. Um, I'm just going to highlight the text I want and say insert link. I'm going to type the URL into the box there and click OK. And now we have a link in our call to action. Um, so that was our first step, our build step. And there's a couple of other things we can do before we publish our story. So step two is add data. And this was if our story had some data sets associated with it, which it does not. So we're just going to skip the next one, which is tag. And this is where you can add keywords, places, topics to your story so that readers can find your story and search for it. Topics, we have a list of pre-populated items. And you can see we can either pick it from the drop-down list or we can start typing. So, um, and it'll auto-complete for us. So I'm going to pick education. Um, places work the same way. So it's pre-populated with all of Denver's neighborhoods and all of Colorado's zip codes. So I'm going to tag this with Denver and then also Central Business District. Um, I happen to be associated with the Piton Foundation organization on Full Day, so I can also tag my story with that. Um, and I could add a project if I so wanted. We can also add in our own keywords that aren't a part of the system. So I'm going to say office buildings, um, views, uh, Rocky Mountains, um, workspace, and Piton. And you can add as many keywords as you like. 
Another cool feature is you can tag your story with an address so that people can locate it on a map. So I'm going to enter in the Piton Foundation's address. It's 377 17th Street. Um, do a search just to make sure that we get the right one. There it is. So I'm going to click Add Address, and now my story will show up on a map if someone searches for it that way. All right, so now we're done tagging. Our next step is to review our story. And on this page, we've got just some questions and tips, things that you might want to check before you publish your story. Like, did you add tags? Um, did you include data with your story and things like that? We can also, from this page, preview our story and see what it'll look like on Floodlight. So here we go. We can get a view of it. Everything looks good. Um, and my preview opened up in a new tab, so I can just close that out, and I'll be back in the story builder. All right, now we are ready for step five, which is the publish and share stage. So there's a few things I need to do before I can publish. I just have to check some legal agreements to say that um, I have the rights to publish this photo, which I do. Um, I can select a Creative Commons license, and you can find out more about the Creative Commons and why we're using it on Floodlight um, on the help page. And I can also select a featured image for my story, and it lets me automatically pick um, from the images that are in my story. So now I'm ready to publish. I click the publish button up at the top and success, we have published it. So now we're ready to view it on the site or to share it. And notice that we've provided the link there for you so you can um, copy that and send it out through your social networks. And we can also then view the story on the website. So there it is, um, it works. So that's it, that's uh, all it takes to make a photo voice story. So thanks for um, listening today and I hope to see your stories on Floodlight. Thanks.